know when to ignore your six-year-old. Um, and I don't mean that. I do have a six-year-old in terms of don't ignore your own children. But that six-year-old, the six-year-old that never goes away, the one that determines and is seeking the same approvals for good enough, worthy enough, um, and no matter what your achievements in life, they still feel empty if you haven't fulfilled those same criteria that that six-year-old needed to feel safe and loved and uh, approved of and appreciated. Um, and yeah, you've got to call yourself on it. I, I got caught up in this this morning. Um, and I didn't realize I was feeling particularly emotional about it. But yeah, I was, I was sad. I should be excited about things that are going on in my life and things that are moving forward. But I was sad because I hadn't had a tick in a box of approval. That was just my six-year-old self talking, which is a bit sad. So know when to ignore them.